Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 3 Lesson 7 homework. And also, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel because it really helps out my channel. And if this video helps, please share it with your friends. So yeah, let's get started. Solve the word problems using the RDW strategy. Show all of your work. Alright, so number one. Christine baked a pumpkin pie. She ate one-sixth of the pie. Her brother ate one-third of it and gave the leftovers to his friends. What fraction of the pie did he give to his friends? All right, so read. We read it, so now we draw. Let's draw our Tate diagram. So we're going to split this into six. One six of the pie was eaten by Christine. But her brother ate one third. So one third and one six. We could convert this into six. So three times two is six. So we multiply this whole thing by two, which give us two six. That means her brother ate two six of the pie. So here down low, oh, we can label. C for Christine, and two over here for her brother. He gave the leftovers to his friends. That means you should see that he gave this part to his friends. So it should be three, six. We want to show our work. Total is six, six, minus one third and two thirds. Minus the one six and two six, minus three six equals three six left over. We simplify that, divide by three, get one half. So one half of the pi to friends. Number two, Liam went to the bookstore. He spent one third of his money on a pen and four seventh of it on books. What fraction of his money must he have left? So first, we need to make sure these two um, fractions have the same denominator. One third and one seventh. So we'll just multiply three by seven and seven by three. Times seven, seven twenty-one. And four seven times three is twelve over twenty-one. So let's make our tape diagram now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now, okay, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Of the twenty one. Um, this was one third, this was the pen. And books, it's four seventh or 12 out of 21. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 out of 21 was spent on books. So this is how much is left over. Just trying to figure out. Um, so after he spent seven out of twenty-one plus twelve over twenty-one called nineteen out of twenty-one, this is how much he spent. So find out how much he has left. His original twenty-one over twenty-one minus nineteen over twenty-one is two over 21. So he, um, that's how much he has left. All right, next page. Three, Tiffany bought two fifth kilograms of cherries. Linda bought one tenth kilogram of cherries less than Tiffany. How many kilograms of cherries did they buy altogether? So first, two-fifths, we can 
Counter it fifths and to tenths. So do that times two equals four tenths. The first T for Tiffany. Now we're going to separate this into tenths. Four tenths, that's how much she picked. Now L for Linda, she picked one tenth um, of a kilogram trade, kilograms of trade less than Tiffany. So if Tiffany picked four tenths, and four tenths minus one tenth is three tenths. So that means Linda picked three tenths. But we're not done yet. It's asking how many kilograms of cherries did they buy all together? So we have four tenths plus three tenths. Four plus three is seven. So our answer is seven tenths. So seven tenths kilograms of ch cherries all together. Number four, Mr. Rivas bought a can of paint. He used three-eighths of it to paint a bookshelf. He used one-fourth of it to paint a wagon. He used some of it to paint a birdhouse and has one-eighth of the paint left. How much paint did he use for the birdhouse? So three-eighths and one-eighths, they both have the same denominator except for one-fourth. So to get four to eight, we have to multiply it by two. So one-fourth times two is two-eighths. So now we have two-eighths. So we can split our tape diagram into eighths. So first, he uses three eighths of it to paint a to paint a bookshelf. Right shelf. Then he uses one fourth or two eighths of it to paint a wagon. He used some to paint a birdhouse, but has one eighth left over. So this would be how much he has left. So that means this much, you can look here, is how much he used to paint the bird house. So how much paint did he use for that? Well, um, he used 3 8 for bookshelf, plus 1 4th or 2 8th for the wagon, and now he has 1 8th left over. So that's 6 8 So if we take our total 8, eighths minus six eighths equals two eighths and two eighths if you divide that by two to simplify that's one fourth that means you use one fourth of fourth of the paint All right, and number five, ribbon A is one third meter long. It is two fifth meter shorter than ribbon B. What's the total length of the two ribbons? So A, we can just say one third meter. And it's two fifth meter shorter than ribbon B. And that means that ribbon B is two fifths of a meter longer. Okay. Okay, so it's so the whole length of the two ribbons. So let's find B first. One third plus two fifths. First, multiply this by five. It's five fifteen. And now the two fifths by three, six fifteen. So now we have the same denominator. Five fifteen plus six fifteen equals eleven fifteen. So that's how much 
how long B is. But we're not done yet. It's asking for the total length times 11 15 plus the one third, which we already made sure that's 5 15 plus 5 15 equals 16 or 15 or 1 and 1 15. So our answer is 1 and 1 15 meter. That's the total length. So yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you next time. Bye!